Okay, so this is, presentation is going to be for compounding trochees, particularly the pilocarpine ones that we're doing in lab. So the ingredients we're going to be using is the PEG-1450 as our trochee base that will dissolve in the mouth. It's a very flaky, waxy substance. We have our flavoring agent that's liquid. We're going to use a sweetener, in our case aspartame, and our drug is going to be pilocarpine. In addition to that, we will need a trochee mold. This particular one has a lid that will close down, and it also goes six across and five down. When you're filling it, you're only doing three rows. That's the 15 for our prescription. We're not going to fill the rest. Make sure in lab you don't keep filling up all of them. You're only filling up 15. This one has a sliding cover that you can see, but it's the same format by five by six. And there's smaller ones that have different compartments in them. For dispensing the trochees, you can label the actual plastic or some of these will have a little sleeve that will go in them and you actually label the top of the sleeve. So to get started, we're going to do the thing that takes the longest first. That's melting the peg base. So you can either weigh it directly in a beaker, or in my case, I'm just transferring it to a beaker. The calculated amount of peg base, we're going to put it directly in the center of the hot plate. Again, the temperature of the hot plate that you see is not calibrated. Using a thermometer is the most appropriate method. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make our aliquot for our drug and aspartame. So in this case, both of these are required ingredients. Usually put the aspartame in first, coat it, and then add an equal amount of drug and do it geometrically if needed for the different amounts. But ultimately, we have a large amount of an aliquot we need. And we're going to take away from that aliquot the amount that will contain our drug and our aspartame. So looking at our formulation, that's what we calculated out for. Now, once we've gotten that, again, that aliquot won't have anything else but those two ingredients that are required. Keep an eye out on our peg, making sure that it's melted. When you do melt the peg, try not to get it up over the edges on the sides. Like notice how it's very high on my beaker. If you do have that, you can try to clean it off using this glass stir rod and the heated peg, but try not to mix it because the more you mix it, the higher it's going to go up on the beaker and the higher it's going to go up on your glass stir rod. So once we have the melted peg and it's cooled down slightly, you're going to incorporate the drug. In our case, the drug is going to be an inactive ingredient that will usually be a suspension visually. You will see it as a suspension, so you're doing your best to keep those particles suspended. And then you also are going to add in the flavoring agent as a last step that you don't see here. But the flavoring liquid will go in, and then I'm going to start pouring in my trochee molds. As I'm pouring up my trochee molds, notice that I'm overfilling them slightly. You don't have to fill them over as much as I am, but I'm only filling 15 for the prescription. And then you're going to see that they overfill. You can use the top of a glass stir rod to get that surface tension so they're all equal. But once you have them overfilled during the solidification process, they will contract and they will go down in the volume. They'll also turn white in the front top side will be a little bit rough. So some people like to take a hot gun and usually try to polish them off. Other times people will pop them out and turn them over. To pop these out, it's almost like an ice cube tray. Back in the day, you sort of flex the plastic. And once you open up the plastic enough, you can get your finger and actually pull out one of the doses. The trochees will have that design on top, so you can do a quarter or a half. And then again, some people will put them upside down so that the cleaner side is facing up. But for us, we are going to do a quality assurance step on them. You are going to weigh them. And when you're done weighing them, you can dispense them appropriately in the container.